Good morning, my loves. I literally just woke up. Ever since I got back from the UK, I've been waking up like really late, like 8, 9 p.m., which is late for me, okay? Like I literally just got out of bed and it's 9 a.m. and I'm still sleepy. Anyway, today's video is going to be a little glow up video. So I'm going to get my nails done. I actually have my nail appointment in like 30 minutes. So <laughs> I have no time to do my makeup beforehand or do any like other things beforehand. I'm so excited for today's video because I feel like I haven't done one of these in such a long time. Like I used to do these all the time. So many clothes and I still don't know what to wear. Ew, look what's on my car. I actually got my car cleaned yesterday too. So this is also like a little glow up for her, okay? Because before this, she was dirty, like musty, let me tell you. But now she's nice and clean and I love it when she's clean. It just like, it just makes her feel brand new. <clears throat> okay, I need to go right now. I don't know why I'm late because I'm usually never late. Okay, I just want to give you guys a little before. They're not too bad, actually. Um, I'm just like, I just want something else. My cuticles are dry as heck. I think I want to get something with French or something. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, are you guys ready for the nail process? So she first filed all of that old gel off and then she also did my cuticles because you guys saw my cuticles were dry AF, just so nasty. And then she put this like really light pink baby... Uh, baby pink color down as a base so she put that down and then she filed it all to make it nice and smooth for the polish and i told you guys that i wanted to do something with french but i didn't want to do just like basic white french so i went for this like really light baby pink color and it looked so amazing so are you guys ready for the reveal Ooh, you guys i think these are like my favorite nails ever oh my god they are just the cutest nails I've ever seen. I love this. I love a good French. It's pink, by the way. I mean, you guys can obviously see it's like a really light pink, but so happy with them. I just got home. Oh my God, why do I look so crazy? Um, these are my nails. They're so cute. Okay, now we need to do the rest. I really feel like doing my hair because this, I mean, what is this? It's just kind of yeah <laughs> all right guys i'm first gonna do my hair and afterwards i'm gonna do my makeup and i want to say a quick thank you to luxy hair for sponsoring this part of the video i am going to be using all luxy hair products to style my hair today including their signature curler their hair oil and their heat protecting spray can i just say the packaging of this box that the curler comes in is absolutely gorgeous obviously you get the beautiful curler it also comes with a little mat that you can put your curler down onto and a heat resistant glove which is perfect so you don't burn your fingers <laughs> i'm using the luxie hair heat protecting primer it's a really lightweight spray that protects your hair from heat damage frizz and it also protects your hair color i'm just gonna spray this through the length of my hair that i'm gonna curl on all of luxie hair products are also certified cruelty free and certified vegan i really want to do like a soft curl kind of like beachy if any of you were wondering i have the heat set to 325 fahrenheit and it heats up really quick which is amazing i'm gonna take a section around this big and start curling it with my signature curler wrap the hair around like i said i'm kind of gonna go for beach waves so i'm gonna leave a little um end of the hair out like this i'm gonna leave it on for about 15 seconds and then i'm just gonna release that in my hand and this is the beautiful curl look at that oh my god that looks amazing all right second curl let's see what it looks like that is just gorgeous i also absolutely love that this wand is really long because you guys know i have really long hair and i just hate it when the barrel is just way too short so i feel like if you have really really long hair like me you really appreciate this long barrel oh 
helps us. Two more pieces to go on this side and then the left side will be done. I really love how this curler makes my hair look, you guys. It looks so shiny. Can you see that? Release this. Of course, leaving a little bit of the ends out to create that beachy look. I don't keep it on my front pieces as long because I don't like it to be that curled like the rest of my hair. I'm just gonna let this side cool off while I do this side. Gorgeous. I'm going to use the Luxie Hair Luminous Shine Hair Oil. This is going to make your hair feel super soft. It's going to give you a beautiful shine and obviously it's going to take away that frizz. Again, this hair oil is vegan and cruelty free. All of Luxie Hair's products are. If it's one product that I literally cannot live without, it's a hair oil. Like I use a hair oil every single day, not only after styling, but also when I come out of the shower just to make your hair feel super soft and shiny. Take away that frizz so i'm just gonna put a few drops of this in my hand and then just run that through my curls this smells absolutely insane by the way now that we have curled and also put the hair oil in i am gonna brush my curls out for a more of a softer look but i just wanted to show you guys this is what um my hair looks like without brushing so you can leave it like this if you want to i just kind of prefer a little bit of a softer look kind of like a fluffy curl or wave if you will so now you guys can kind of see the difference of what it looks like when it's not brushed out versus when it's brushed out oh my god look at that volume look at that shine it looks absolutely amazing Okay guys, that was my hair. I think it looks absolutely insane thanks to Luxie Hair products. I just want to say thank you again to Luxie Hair for sponsoring this part of the video. And now let's get on to the makeup. All right guys, I'm gonna pin my hair back and I'm gonna do my makeup. And I'm actually really excited to do my makeup today. Um, for today's look, I kind of want to do a little bit of a heavier eye and a little bit more of a natural base makeup well not like natural natural but i feel like the eyes just need to be a little bit more a little bit more extra i don't know if you guys remember but in a couple of my videos i was complaining that i was using the same concealer and foundation over and over again guess what i have new foundation and concealer i have already tried out the concealer and i love it but this is actually my first time um, trying this new foundation, so I hope the color is going to be good. It kind of looks, maybe it's a little bit light or maybe it'll be just like a perfect match. Let's blend in and see. Actually, <laughs> that looks like my perfect match. Wow. Oh my God, I've literally never had that. Like I have, I got this in a couple um, different shades, but it looks like... This one matches perfectly, which is amazing. All right, foundation on. Let's go in with the concealer. I'm just gonna do a little bit underneath my eyes because as always, my under eye bags are there. <laughs> and around my nose, I'm gonna put some on my chin too. And I'm just gonna go in with the same sponge and blend this in. gonna go in with a little bit of setting powder just taking another sponge that i use for my powders and just setting that concealer down i'm gonna go in with a tiny bit of cream contour i actually should have done this before <laughs> before the powder but whatever i feel like this cream contour still works pretty good on powders so i just really want today's focus to be a little bit more on the eyes like i just want more like natural, kind of like glowy skin. Okay, that was my really simple, easy, quick, natural face makeup. Now let's get on to the eyes. I Maybe I will add some like blush once I'm done with the eyes. We'll see, I just have to kind of do my eyes first. I'm using Beauty Bay Fiery Matte Palette. I used to use that all the time, but I feel like I haven't used it in a while, so I'm just gonna dig back in and 
use one of my favorite palettes i'm picking up two of the picking up two of the brown shades right here and just kind of mixing them i feel like that is going to create a really gorgeous base shade for the crease before I go in with some darker colors. I feel like I haven't really been doing eyeshadow lately. Like I just, I don't know, sometimes I'm too lazy and I just grab some of my bronzer and I put it in my crease, but I actually do feel like doing eyeshadow today. Also, every single color that I put on my like upper lid, I'm also gonna blend that down to my lower lash line just to kind of balance it out because you don't want the top to look too heavy and then not have anything on your bottom lash line. You Feel me? I'm also gonna blend some of that color down onto our lid. Then I'm just gonna take a mix of these three colors. I think I'm mainly gonna take some of these two because I feel like this is gonna be too warm. Like I don't want it to turn like orange if you get me. I'm actually gonna switch to a smaller brush so I can be a little bit more precise. So I'm gonna take that like darkest brown shade and the shade before that and just kind of pack it down on the outer part of my lid, but then also kind of winging it out where I would normally place my um, eyeliner and kind of taking it up like this to the tail of her brow. I mean, not like touching the tail of her brow, but just kind of blending that on there. Kind of really blending that out in the middle so it creates a nice like gradient effect. Just packing that down first here on the outer part, then kind of taking that up where I would normally place my liner. Blending that down onto the middle. And I'm also gonna take that color down onto our lower lash line. Now I'm gonna take this like kind of matte, beigey, like lighter shade and I'm gonna put it right here on the inner part of my lid to kind of brighten that area up a little bit more. That looks stunning. I just love a matte eye makeup look. I'm gonna take the Anastasia Beverly Hills dark side eyeliner in black and I'm just gonna line everything. Like I'm gonna line my waterline, my tight line, kind of do like some winged liner there. Just really make it dark and just make it more black. I'm gonna do one eye and then I'm gonna show you guys the difference. This is with eyeliner and that is without. Just gonna do a little bit of mascara. Oh, the sun is so bright, you guys. I literally cannot even keep my freaking eyes open. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna let that dry and then do another coat. Um, I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I recently have been loving this eyebrow product. I've talked about this on my Instagram before. This is Brow Code Lamination Gel. This is so strong, you guys. I put some through my brows and I kind of let that dry up for a couple of seconds. And then when it's kind of like dried up a little bit, I go in with a spoolie and I push my brows up like that. To finish off the makeup look, I'm just gonna do my lips really quickly. I'm using this NYX lip liner in the color Cafe. I haven't used this in the longest time, but I literally just found it in my purse and I got so excited. So I'm gonna use that to overline. This is Charlotte Tilbury, Mrs. Kiss. Mrs. Kisses. That is cute. Now I wanna put on a different outfit cause I'm absolutely sick of this black hoodie. I really like my makeup today. Okay, I got an outfit. I'm gonna wear these cargo pants. I feel like I wear cargo pants literally every single day, but it's fine cause I love cargo pants. So cargo pants. Then this cute white ribbed tight little crop top. Alrighty. Outfit is on. Ooh, almost freaking fell on my face. Cargo pants and this top. Very, very cute. Okay, also I got a new bee necklace. How cute is this? So cute. Okay, let me take my clips out. What I always do is shake it shake my hair like this and then you have a lot of volume okay ah! guys i am in the mood to like go out or something like literally freaking have my hair done makeup outfit nails like i'm all ready to go 
but I have nowhere to go. So I'm gonna take TikToks instead and selfies instead, you know, have to hang out with myself. Yay. I really love how my makeup turned out today. Such like a natural kind of like base makeup and I'm loving the eyes and then the hair. Oh my freaking God, that curling iron is insane. Like just look at my hair. It looks freaking amazing. Do you see this? Hair, makeup, outfit, nails, check. Okay guys, I am going to take a bunch of TikToks right now, a bunch of selfies because I'm really feeling myself. I think I look really good right now. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching me transform into this. If you liked the video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, turn on your notifications, subscribe, comment, like, blah, 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 blah. Follow me on Instagram, which is at Georgina Giovanita, and also follow my beauty brand, which is at GGB Beauty. I don't know why I have so much energy right now. I love you guys and I will see you back in the next video. Bye. Mwah.